Hello everyone, Rurikon here coming at you with another Dark Souls 2 episode. Hope you guys enjoy that montage. I hope that montage is actually good because I haven't really edited yet, edited it yet. Um, but yeah, we did the whole, like, I, I'm not even sure what to call it. Maybe call it treasure room or something. We did the whole treasure room thing uh, upstairs. It took quite a bit. Uh, I recorded all of it and I should have posted up a montage for you guys ahead uh, right before we started um, our commentary here. Uh, so yeah, let us continue onwards. Uh, you guys probably know how I got here. I'm going to assume. Wow, I, I keep, it's it's hard for me at this point in time to think about stuff in the future because like I know I'm going to edit that stuff. I know I'm going to make it like nice and neat and put it ahead of this video, but I can't see it yet. So it's like, uh, whatever. Either way, you guys know why we're down here. Uh, and since we got to a new area, I thought, well, let's uh, go ahead and start with some commentary. And we did get um, some armor from a guy called Farm Farah something. Farah. Maybe we didn't get a, a headpiece and we got everything else. I mean, we got Brigand, we got Tattered Faram. Here we go. Oh, this is the um the, the default the default set for the well the default, I mean the promo set that we've all been seeing. But I guess we didn't get the helm somehow. Where the gloves uh would be Oh, here they are. Faram. Oh here it is, the helm. We finally got it, guys. We got, it's like, <laughs> after all this time, we've gotten the original set of the game, which, to be completely honest, uh, I'd much rather have the, the, um, the set for the Arch Drake, or whatever it's called, because uh, that's the set that I'm going to be using regardless. Anyways, I'm going to be switching back to my own set. I was just curious to see what that particular set was about, and it was a nice little surprise. To see that it was actually the set of the um, the the promo set. Let's call it the promo set. Anyways, we don't have all that many um, all that many spell uses with us, so I'm hoping that this is not a too tough area here. For starters, we got a bonfire. Good, good stuff. So we're actually going to be resting right from the get go, and we're even going to do a quick jump cut here because I'm going to go level up before we move anything further. Very well, we only got one level off of that because um, our levels are becoming increasingly exp uh, expensive. Looks like this is another section of dark. Yeah, here's the guy again. We meet again, young undead. You have the look of a true seeker. I am Dark Diver Grandal, seeker of dark, giver of dark. If you seek true dark, I will grant it to you, as much as you desire. Well then, is dark what you wish for? Abandon your covenant and join the Pilgrims of Dark. Nope, not really. Hmm. 
Perhaps I was wrong. No, no, just ignore me. Young undead, may the dark shine your way. Wow, so you have to basically play through almost the entire game in order to get dark magic? That doesn't seem right. Either way, it's definitely interesting that, um, because I think we visited all three shrines. I mean, maybe there's more that I still don't know of, but at least we visited the three shrines throughout my playthrough, so I thought that was pretty cool. But I guess I was hoping for more stuff to explore, but, oh well, it wasn't the case. In uh, which case, I guess we're going to go straight onwards to the boss. I'm going to try and make a run for it, probably lose these 10,000 souls. Uh, that is to be expected. So, yeah. What's this? Oh, it's already telling us, like, that there's these two more... There's uh, these two other things that we haven't seen yet. Interesting. Actually, I'm thinking maybe I'll try exploring the upper sections of the castle. I'm not exactly sure if I can or not, but I'll try. Just in case there's something to it there. Uh, when I say the upper sections, I mean like at the entrance. If you guys uh, remember at the very entrance of the castle, there was um, these staircases. Now, I don't assume that I can still use the store, right? Yeah, produce the symbol of the king. So first we gotta go visit Vendrick at the very top. That is going to be a pain to get to. So let's go to the start of the castle here and see if we can produce something else other than the symbol of the king. Whoa. Relax, boys. At this, I think at some point in these um in this particular playthrough, a lot of people are gonna say, man, Rurikon is freaking bipolar, he can't make up his mind about what he wants to do next. It's because, usually, when it's a game like this, that it's very, very not a linear experience. I really like to cover my bases before I move to boss fights. I like to explore as much as I possibly can. Damn it. And I get the backstab at the very end when the guy's about to die. That's great. Get rid of you guys. Are these guys giving any decent amount of souls, even? 900 a pop. CN's gauntlets. We can also farm them for their armor if we so desire. Which isn't really the case, because the armor I want, I still can't find. Yep, we. it seems that we might be able to come through here, through this door, as opposed to the other one. Very well, we shall do so. It's the throne room. It is an awesome looking throne room. I take it I can't sit down here. Aww. And that's it. It's just a big throne room. There's gotta be some secret passageways in here. Would be cool if I could break down the, the chairs. Theoretically, I think this would be the king's throne, and the queen, which sits at the right side of the king. Or so I would assume. What the hell? Not a single secret passage? Are you kidding me? There's nothing here at all? Are you telling me I have to go face the big bad boss now? Without so much as a bonfire? Oh, man. I got a bad feeling about this. I got a bad feeling. I got a feeling I'm going to die. It's not necessarily a bad feeling when you're in Dark Souls, because that's kind of part of the course. It is expected that you will die. Very well, let's go ahead and die for your entertainment. Let me just try these doors one more time. Nope, they're not going to open. Oh, well. Okay, so something that you guys didn't see that I did off camera was I got completely naked, apart from the rings, last time I broke my rings because of that, but uh, I got naked and I got into this goop. There was an item there, but it wasn't anything really good. But as I was going through and I looked down earlier, I saw a chest. It's not a mimic. 
So I'm going to open it. Corrosive Urn, which I'm not even sure what that does. It'd be cool to find some kind of secret passageway while we're here, but I guess we're not going to find anything. And now, let's pray that we're not going to get headshot by the guy that's trying to take pot shots at us from above. But it might be the case. Either way, remember to take off your clothes before you take a bath in that goop, because otherwise you're going to be breaking all your gear down, because that is corrosive stuff. So yeah. Either way, going to re-equip re now and resume my boss run. Just want to check out that particular chest, see what that was all about. Show you guys while I was at it. I thought I was going to fight the king, but I guess I was actually going to fight a double dragon rider type thing. Although it was pretty simple, and if I had to do it again, uh, what I would say is just focus on the other one first. Because the red one has a lot more health. Of course, I didn't really knew that at the time. Uh, of course, I didn't really know that. I know that this new thing is something that I tend to harp on for. Um, I tend to commit that mistake quite a bit. Not this time. But anyways, as I was saying, just focus on the black one first. That sounded really racist, but um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. You got to focus on the black colored one first and smash his face in with whatever you can because as you guys can see, just the um, my either has really, really low hit points or he just takes tons and tons of damage. I it, Because you guys saw that the number that popped up was 100, but something that I've noticed is that there's something glitched about spells right now which is when spells do a lot of damage, uh, they will split it off into tinier portions of damage somehow. And the only thing you see is the last number. Because as I was editing the other day, I noticed that when I was using lightning bolts on, um, well, uh, lightning spears on the chariot boss, I remember that the, I think I saw like 86 or something was the final damage. But as I was editing, I noticed that one frame before the 86 popped up, 400 something showed up. So there's that. So it seems we do get a bonfire. We also get another audience with this guy. So let's light this bad boy up. As a matter of fact, let's rest, like rec recuperate all of our spells and all that jazz. 
Let's go ahead and have a word with this dude. Hey man, what do you want? Oh, well met, friend. Good to see you well. Yes, very good indeed. I journeyed from the distant east to perfect my swordsmanship. And legend has it that powerful beings slumber in this land. This sword has been in my family for generations. And only a real man can wield it true. I may face any man or a man or beast, but none shall be a match for my sword. <laughs> I seem to remember someone telling us that the sword this guy is carrying around is probably a fake. Can't remember which character said that, but I know that one of the characters said that. This land is the right mess, eh? King's gone. The people have a mad glint in their eyes. The land itself is overrun by terrible beasts. No better place to test my sword, eh? <laughs> this land. Well, it looks like that's all he's got to say. So we can either go up or down. I vote going down, because I always like to clear the bottom levels before moving on up. Okay, that seems like a really, really long drop. We can call in an elevator. There's also a door in here and a ladder. Well, we're going to take the ladder first. Actually, I just noticed I forgot to level up. This is a really bad idea. I'm going to cut back to this, guys, and I'm going to go level up before I, uh, I do something stupid and die. Okay, we're back, and uh, let me just tell you if you notice a little bit of difference difference in my voice is because I've actually gotten a mint to relax my throat a little bit. Because I've been doing commentary for quite some time now. So anyways, we were going up these stairs, and we're going to be continuing going up these stairs and see what's at the very top. Wow. Really big climb here. The elevator is not on this floor either. Oh no, not another one of these rooms. Not to mention that once you go in, there's no coming back. And I'm really not up for that right now. Weakness head. Something tells me this is going to be a boss or something, and I'm really not up for that right now. I just want to do some exploration. But anyways, we know that stuff's waiting for us upstairs. I like to kind of map out the, the regions in my head as I slowly advance towards them, which also causes a lot of times. Um, it also causes me a lot of times to actually forget about things I've seen. So I can't activate this very well. Okay, so the only thing I can do in this lower section is go and face off against that boss for now. So, let's go up. Oh, by the way, I did uh, take this opportunity to put the game back to online. This castle is really cool, though. Ooh! I was wondering, like, if that was an enemy and I just got shot in the face. Oh, wow, thank you. It's the Anor Londo archers all over again. They've really taken a liking to this kind of thing, didn't they? Very well. I'll be sure to take a liking to using Lightning Spear on that guy's face, then. Oh, that seemed like it hurt. Did that hurt? You little baby, huh? Tell me how much that hurt. Now get the hell out of my face. Be a man about things, huh? How about that? Let's hope they can't actually shoot us off of here. Oh... Okay, I guess we're stuck. So I guess there is only one path after all is like you go up there, you fight that boss fight, and you take it like a man. You don't get to choose. Oh, in this particular section you don't get to choose. Usually in Dark Souls there's plenty of choice, but... I guess here they're all like, no, no sir. No choice for you, you get your ass up there, you beat that. Well, it's not really a boss fight, it's probably like a mini boss fight, I, I'll take it, but... Yeah, I take it that's probably what they're gonna do. They're gonna be like, you go up there, you kill something near that thing, you awaken it, and then you kill it. 
I don't know if that really is a thing or not, but that's something we're going to have to do. Not excited about that prospect. Now, you guys are going to wake up, right? How did I figure that out? You always get me. Ooh, it's two of them. I don't like fighting two of them at once. Although I've gotten quite a bit of practice, I must say. So I take it I only need one of them to actually awaken the giant over there. So... I'm gonna try to see if I can wake these up one at a time. That'd be cool. Can I wake you up one at a time? Guess not. In which case, I'm gonna take your ass out from the get-go. When I say get-go, I don't mean ghetto, I mean get-go. From the get-go, that means from the start. For those of you who don't know that particular expression. It's just I think that sometimes I say that, people might think from the ghetto? What the fuck's he talking about? Anyways, we gotta kill this guy right next to the giant, so here would be a good spot. I sacrifice this statue to you, O great stone giant. Grant me your wisdom. And tell me that you only need one soul, please. Okay, the elevator's coming down. Cool beans, man. You're a cool guy. But it looks like it's not that simple, because there's still a couple of things we need to do. Oh wow, three at a time, huh? Well, thank you very much. Crap. Very well. Time to bring some magic into this bitch. Oh, god damn it. Ooh, and I died. That's, uh, 6,000 souls we lost there? Should I really go get those? Well, there's the door. So I guess I'll need to get those souls. Problem is, three of those guys at once? That ain't easy. And it ain't easy being cheesy. Time to get rid of these damn statues already. Sick of your shit. Oh my god, and so they're sick of mine as well. God damn it. Very well. Put that on your pot and smoke it. Rurikon, bringing back expressions from the 80s. Or 90s. Or whatever, really. I'm gonna pop a great heel here. And let's figure out what's behind door number one. Because I actually think this is probably the way that we need to go to. Though I'm not 100% sure. My, my. Two chests, tons of bloodstains. What could possibly go wrong? Actually, I should really just check this area for secret passages as well. You never know. I put my guard down, they're like, oh! They're no longer paying attention. Put a bunch of uh, secret passageways in here. Happiness. Really? Happiness? Because of the elevator? I wonder if the elevator actually takes you somewhere. Because it seemed to me like the elevator wouldn't actually take you anywhere. You would have to proceed down this door. Either way, this is not a mimic. It is most likely a trap. Nope. Old Knight Hammer. Okay, it's a hammer. I'm very curious about it. I am very, very curious about it. You guys know that I'm very curious about hammers. Oh my god, I don't even want to look at it. I'll be honest, I don't even want to look at it. Is that a hammer? That's a mace. That's a big-ass mace, but it's a mace nonetheless. Look, see? It's a mace. Seriously. This, this is a hammer. That thing's a mace. Doesn't matter how big it is, it's still a damn mace. Okay, this one's got to have a trap in here. Or maybe these are people that died from bringing the monsters in here? Kaithas Kaim and Soul Greatsword. 
Oh, I think I know what Soul Great Sword is. It's that spell. That's a really cool spell. Damn, it's a shame it's so late into the game. Almost have to go through the entire game to get that damn thing. Still don't have a lightning stone. It is so frustrating. Like, guys have no idea. Yep, Soul Great Sword. The other thing was a Kaim. And if it happens to be better than mine, I'm going to be pretty upset. Kathis Kaim. No, that's just for dark. It's not for lightning at all. Sacred Kaim, blessed by Katha, goddess of tears. Hex dedicated catalyst cannot be used to cast miracles. Katha, the goddess of tears, is known as a compassionate being that is with us in times of tragedy, but some believe that she is a demoness that guides us towards misfortune. I'd have to go with option number two because uh, considering that thing boosts dark. Yeah. I wonder if people ran back into this room from here and that's why there are so many. Ooh, mastodons. Tons and tons of mastodons. Holy crap. Okay. One of them woke up. No, they didn't wake up. There's archers up top. They're trying to distract you with all the statues of Macedons downstairs. Wow, there's one hell of a defense in there. Hmm. Not feeling it. And again. What other options do I have, really? Guess I gotta deal with this. Oh, well, thank you. Can I have another one, please? Let's cross over to the other side, see what's here. So I wonder... Yep, there's also archers on the other side. Because why the hell not? Jesus Christ. What is it with this room? This room's insane. Not even sure I want to go up there to face off against them. Are we going to aggro those guys? Seems they're more focusing on the door, so I should be able to make a run for it up here. Ooh, that was right in the face. How am I going to deal with these ones? Okay, there's chests in there, and that's probably the only reason to even come here. But we're going to have to resort to some lightning spears. Thing is, i got to keep my position aware from the other guys up top as well. So what's your reload rate? Yeah, that's pretty sluggish. I can beat that one of my spells. Like that. Actually, I need to switch because um, I'll be running out of lightning spears pretty soon if I'm not careful. Let's get rid of that one. Let's just throw two of these at once. Oh crap, he's still alive. And I know these guys. I thought I didn't know them, but I do. These are the same guys that were over at Iron, Ke uh, Iron Keep, even. It's not a mimic. Could it possibly be a trap? Of course. Oh, that sucked. That was so good. On their part. Crap. That's not what I meant to do. Yelp. Yelp. Ooh. -hoo -hoo -hoo. Let's pop a life gem. Still have the item to go pick up. And then there's another chest on the other side. So let's go pick up whatever's in here. Fire great arrow. Wow, that's pretty useless considering I'm not a bow user. God damn it. Should probably exploit all of these walls and check to see if any of them has, um, if any of them has secret passages. Crap, too slow. Block, 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 block. Oh, I'm, are these going to be two arrows? Please don't. Yep. One, two. Good. Well, at least you guys are kind of in sync, so... Yes, give, give that salute to me again, please. Thank you. Your pal's gonna die. And next, you're gonna die. 
Actually, you know what? To you, you're even gonna go like this. That's right. Perk up that asshole. I'm gonna rip you a new one. Wow, these guys are also tougher than uh, back in Iron Keep. That was a nice shot, dude. You almost got me. Just, just barely missed me there. Not a mimic. Probably trapped though. Also with poison? Nope. Okay. Firestorm. Okay, I think we all know what this one is. Pyromancy. Pillars of fire coming from the ground. I have no intention in using it. That one. Okay, uh, we didn't really check for secret passages, and I'm wondering if we actually need to. Mm, we'll take a look from the outside when we get outside. Anyways, hey boys. Any of you care to come and fight me? Oh, this is good. You come one at a time? That's perfect. Hey, don't be backing off now. Be a man about this. Be a fucking man about this. Come fight me. Oh, god damn you. you. Stubborn prick. Whoa, not cool, bro. Not cool at all. I can see what you're doing. You want you, you want to get your little friend there to help you, right? Well, let me tell you what I'm going to do to your little friend here. Ooh, well, what's he going to do to me? That's pretty good. That's a pretty good job you guys did there. But I'm still going to have it my way. These guys are really defensive compared to the ones we've been fighting so far. Come on. Perk it up. Perk it up. You know it's coming. Oh damn it, I missed that. I missed the backstab. Damn, that triple poking attack is good. This one's to you. Salute, amigo. Now just get killed. Thank you. Okay, we cleared the... Second, I thought I saw an item in there somewhere. Nah. Well, we got a door here. Oh, hello! A Mastodon! Because why the hell not? Well, we got some emit forces that we can spare. Here you go. Here's one. Here's another one. Deliver it to the face, just like you like it. Damn it. Put down that shield. Put down that... You're, you're pushing it. Put down that friggin' shield. Come on. That's it. I'll die. I have to admit, offensive spells do kind of trivialize some things. This is one of those things. But then again, if I was, like, full plate melee, I would probably be doing a ton more damage in melee. Staircase. Oh, wow. All of that, huh? So basically, the second I shoot one of these, they're all going to turn and shoot me. In which case, I probably want to shoot the one in the far. Can we target the one the farthest away, please? No? Not even now? Thank you. Oops. I fucked it up. Yep, I'm fucked. Maybe it'll be okay. No. Oh, wow. Okay, these are even tougher. Okay, we're not looking good. Can I get out of here? Ah! Peace and love, bros. Peace and love. Oh, they want some of this. It's just I really want to kill them. Because I get a feeling that killing them now is probably going to help me later. Okay, you're not going to be able to hit me here, right? Okay, not a single one can hit me here. Good. One, two, three. Oh, shit. I was hoping that one would have come early. One more shot, one more shot. Good stuff. Let's pop a life gem. Okay, good. We have the last one there, so... Mm. Mm. This one we can probably do melee. Come on, bro. What you got? That's a sweet looking katana. I'd love to get me one of those. But for now, you can get on your knees. Wow. 
I'm telling you, these ones are a lot more resilient to physical damage, or maybe just fire in general. Maybe I shouldn't have engaged this guy in melee. Clearly not my brightest moment. They do seem to take a lot of damage from spells, though, so that's good. Killed! Good sir. Get killed. Wow, oh, no items. Oh, these were the guys that were, that were messing me up down there. Okay, I get it, I get it. Well, it's not really that useful killing them then, I don't think. What the hell's going on here? Three ballistas? Repair powder, flame butterfly. It's nice when they actually put some repair powder down, considering the damn thing is expensive as all hell. So it doesn't look like we can actually use these ballistas, which makes them pretty useless. Oh, I think I get it. When I press that, those are gonna shoot. Which means it's probably a sacrificial lamb type of thing, so we're gonna have to sacrifice ourselves as this flask charm. Always comes in handy, uh, but if we're going to have to sacrifice ourselves, let's go ahead and do it properly. Fine. Shoot. I don't care. Maybe they don't shoot. Okay, maybe they don't shoot after all. It's just Rurikon getting all pessimist. It's just, I see three things pointed at me. It's Dark Souls and all. I'm just like, well... They're gonna try and kill me again. Okay, so this essentially takes us back from where we came, back to the elevator. So I don't really know what exactly is the point, I guess it's to get the items, get that loot. Because I don't think there's any other path, we'll have to investigate on that. These guys are getting really tough, or they're just resilient to fire, or I don't know. Regardless of which I'm- Holy crap, what the- Never saw one of those before. That was cool. I'd very much like to have whatever that was. That was pretty damn cool. Either way, I want to come back here to just to double check on everything, make sure I covered all my bases and didn't miss anything. But that is going to be it for this episode. As per usual, leave me your comments, feedback, all that kinds of good stuff. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.